What makes Don Draper so attractive? Let's get into it. Hey, my name is Mo Bassi, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the character traits of Don Draper and what makes him so attractive in the show Mad Men. Starting off with number one is first impressions last. Can I get an old fashioned? We're on the same mission. This bar looks like it was set up by a blind man, and there's no bourbon. There's a hole at the end here. I don't have a lot of time. Are I okay with you? You look like you know what you're doing. I'm Connie, by the way. Don. If you see any time that Don Draper is just about to meet someone, he's very direct, he's very clear in his communication, and he's very well put together. He's not an ungroomed person, he doesn't smell, he holds his head up high, and he's very direct and clear, which puts a first good impression onto him. Now, if you haven't watched the video that I did about David Dobrik, we talked about the likability bias in that video and how if immediately you like someone, you tend to actually like them more as time goes on because of the first initial impression of you liking them. And so you tend to rationalize their actions no matter what they do, and you continue to like them even if their behaviors aren't aligned with what you want or what you like in a person. Number two is he has the behaviors of a non-reactive man. Spit it out, Campbell. I know that your name is not Donald Draper. It's Dick Whitman. I don't know who Donald Draper is, but according to my friend Russ at the Department of Defense, Dick Whitman died in Korea in 1950, and Donald Draper dropped off the map. Although he's 43 years old, in which case, you look remarkably good. That's kind of elaborate. Really? I wish I knew more. I bet a lot of people do. Pete, get out. You're making a fool of yourself. You can deny it. But I know it's true. I can see from your face. You should leave. Don, you should think about how Burt Cooper will react when he hears this information. What information? You're not who you say you are. And there's obviously a reason. Come on. I would like you to reconsider my qualifications. You said everything except or else. You don't see Don Draper reacting super hardcore to anything. Sure, there are some scenes where they have to dramatize everything, but for the most part throughout the entire show, uh, he's very, very non-reactive, and he is like a pillar in the tree. Like, there is nothing that can happen to this guy that you can push him sideways. He's just very non-reactive as a man, which is extremely attractive because you know when you're around him, you're going to be safe. Number three, and this may come as a surprise, but he doesn't show his emotions. I know you saw me. I thought you were hiding from someone. <laughs> that was a bold last minute decision, going with your idea. I thought it was more what they wanted. Well, we'll never know, will we? Because they never heard mine. Look, I don't like going in with two ideas. It's weak. And you don't want to be weak, so you picked yours. And they bought it, which is our goal, isn't it? What do I care? I got a million of them. A million. Good. I guess I'm lucky you work for me. I feel bad for you. I don't think about you at all. 
Oftentimes, I'll say the opposite. I'll say, you know, if you want to attract women, if you want to be able to meet beautiful women and talk to them or even connect with anyone, you're going to need to show your emotions. You're going to need to be vulnerable. You're going to, you're going to need to be open and show an array of emotions to get the other person attracted. However, there is a slight mystery in someone who doesn't show emotions or doesn't give out his cards immediately. Imagine you go up to a woman and you're talking to her and immediately you're sh getting extremely happy, you're laughing at all her jokes, you're just very invested emotionally. It actually pushes her away from you and it makes her wonder why is this guy so invested if he's a high value man? Because a high value man wouldn't get immediately invested into someone because they have high standards, because they have boundaries. So. Over time, as they get to so know someone, they might start to show their emotions, but in the beginning, they tend to hide it. And so he does this really well where he doesn't really show much emotion. He's very cold. And because of this, it adds a little bit of mystery to him, a little bit of groundedness, and it makes you think that he's higher value than he actually is. Number four is he speaks his mind clearly and directly communicates simply. Where are you going? Oh, we'll be here. So now I know that. I must just come right out and ask if I'm going to be around. I was just making conversation. You can change it if you want to. You're all the same. The drinking, the philandering. They don't know that word. Do you want me to leave you alone? Just say so. <laughs> it's hard because this happens a lot. Nothing is happening. We're just talking. Okay. And where I come from, school teachers especially used to say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. So you're different, huh? Is that impossible? You're all wearing the same shirt. There is no part of him where you second guess what he said or second guess how he communicated or second guess the meaning behind what he's saying. He's very direct in his communication, he's very honest, and he's very simple. And I see this all the time when I'm talking to people who are trying to convey very vague ideas or if I ask someone, for example, you know, what is your business plan or what do you want to achieve or what are your goals? They'll say this elaborate plan or I was on a clubhouse talk, which is a new app. You can follow me on there uh, where people talk about different topics and somebody came up and they're like, all right, pitch us your business idea. And they were saying, oh yeah, there's this AI thing and this and that and that. And one of the speakers said, I don't know what the fuck you just said. Like, I have no idea what you just talked about. Communicate to me like I am in grade three. And so he actually communicates at a third grade level. He doesn't say anything confusing. He's very direct and he's very simple, which actually is attractive because no part of what he says can be miscommunicated. No part of what he says can you think differently about or uh, have to think about a different meaning behind his words. His words are in direct congruence with exactly what he means. Number five is, and this is where contrast comes in, he has professional success, but he's also a hurt little boy. It's like you see this professional high value man, he's very successful in his field, very uh, career driven, but behind all of that is this hurt little traumatized boy. It's late. And it's been a long day. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stephanie.
somebody very important to me died. Oh. The only person in the world who really knew me. You should go home. You can come in late. I'll be fine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good night. And this isn't necessarily going to get you the highest quality woman. Okay, if you want to become a high value man and you're watching this, you want to work on your traumas. You want to become uh, an overall better person. You want to learn about yourself and your inner demons and learn how to overcome them or not allow them to create dysfunctional patterns in your life. However, there is something about the contrast between someone who's high value in their career field and is successful on the outside, but on the inside, they're very broken and traumatized, which tends to attract the lower quality, so to speak, women uh, who need a man that they can fix, right? And this is why in the show, any woman he's around and all the women that he's attracting tend to be women who are fixers. They want to fix them and he's very broken. So they want to constantly do stuff to fix them. And that is extremely attractive towards them. And last but not least is mysteriousness attracts. Excuse me. My friends and I have been speculating about you, trying to decide who you are and what you do. Why? Are you an actor? No. Are you an astronaut? No. Someone over there would like to meet you, a young woman. Only if you are none of these things. I'm Vicomte Monteforti d'Alsace, Willy. Don. This is Dawn. She's been staring at you all day. Can't stop talking about you. I'm Joy. Oh, and this is Rocky. You look so comfortable alone by the pool all day. Now I wonder if you're waiting for someone. Uh, I am. Hmm. You smell that jasmine. Hmm. Dine with us. Maybe another time. Well, that never happens. <laughs> Throughout pretty much the first few seasons of the show, he's very mysterious. Like, he hides a lot of shit. And mysteriousness is very attractive off the fact that if we were in little tribes, and we used to be as human beings, we used to be in very little tribes, and there was someone that you didn't know something about, and you didn't know much about them, there would be an internal desire to find out more about them. There would be an internal desire to be, who is this person in our tribe? Can we trust them? Is he trustworthy? What is he like? What does he do? What is he not like? And therefore the mysteriousness would actually attract people to you for them to get to want to know you. And so having mysteriousness attracts people to want to get to know who you are and the fact that they are investing the time and effort to get to know who you are because it's just a biological mechanism actually turns on the attraction switch so to call it because now they're investing into you and you are on their mind so the fact that he's very mysterious and you don't know much about him throughout pretty much the entire show until more and more is revealed is very very attractive especially to women and this is what makes him extremely attractive so let's do a quick recap first thing is he makes very good first impressions and first impressions last second is he's very non-reactive as a man he has behaviors of a non-reactive man and doesn't react much third is he doesn't show his emotions He's very emotionally resilient and very cold almost. Fourth is he speaks his mind clearly and communicates very directly and simply. Fifth is he has professional success mixed in with trauma, which creates the contrast. And last but not least is he's very mysterious. And so this mysteriousness attracts women to him. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe and thumbs up. It really helps out this channel. And if you have any ideas or any person that you want me to break down their characteristics next so that you can utilize it into your own life to become a higher value man who attracts who he wants into his life, then simply comment it down below and we will talk soon. Take care.